it's an icebreaker speech uh, by Megan Tamus, rhymes with famous. That'll always stick in my mind. That's a great way to remember your name. She will be evaluated today by Linda Snyder, CCCL. So please join me in welcoming. Oh, sorry, you got my <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How dare you interrupt? No, I'm kidding. Um, so please, please join me in welcoming Megan for her first icebreaker speech. Find anything wrong on 
under the hood. I don't understand. So as I walked back to Conrad's, I walked into the store, I, the mechanics couldn't find anything under the hood, nor could they give me an explanation as why the light had turned on in the first place or why it was turned off. The next day, Thursday, May the 8th, I was walking outside with my neighbor, Kathy. She lives across the hall from me. As we walked and talked, I explained to her the difficulties, the forward difficulties that I had with the car. She said, you are so lucky that no repairs needed to be made. I said, God intervened. Luck had nothing to do with it. God, for whatever reason, turned on the light and then he sovereignly turned it off. <laughs> Why would he do such a thing? For two reasons that I can come up with. The Holy Trinity wanted me to give all praise, honor, and glory in my life to him. And the second reason is that I could share this story with you, my friends, today. In conclusion, I thank you for listening attentively to my story. Mr. Toastmaster.